Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm going to unbox this box. Now it has plenty of duct tape, so let's see if it is undestructible. Uh, nope, my knife cut right through it. So let's see what's inside. Okay, there is plenty of bubble wrap, so I can entertain myself. Ta-da! This is the Dremel Contour Sander. And this tool has been actually discontinued for quite a number of years. I'm not sure if there is any replacements for it but I'll show you in a second why I needed to get such an old tool. Now let's open it up and see what we have. In the box, of course I get the tool. Uh, and I guess this is the uh, uh, latching mechanism. I just need to figure out how to use it. Plenty of sandpapers, of course they're crumpled, but that's what you expect from a previously enjoyed tool. Uh, I guess a replacement clasp. And a whole bunch of contour sanding attachments. So probably it is going to be all that appear right here. So let's check them out. And of course a flat attachment. So let's check them out, open up the box and see what we have. So we have a few concave attachments. Several of them actually. Uh, we also have a few convex. And a few angled ones according to the description. Now, the reason why I bought this is technically this particular attachment right here. Uh, and that is primarily for sanding the insides of the channels of my pen cases. Uh, I know I've been doing this by hand. But given the sheer number of pen cases that I have to do in the next little while... Uh, I think I'm not going to have any hands left by the end of that exercise. So I got this uh, and we'll see, uh, I'm going to do a few experiments, we'll see how it uh, runs. And the good thing is, with my 3D printer, I can actually get a much larger radius uh, so that it can fit the uh, much larger radius here on this particular uh, pen case, for example. Uh, so let me, let me do an experiment. I just thought about it. Let me do an experiment. What I'm going to do is try to access my pencils, uh, which are somewhere or oh, behind there. What I'm going to do is draw a little pencil mark inside the pen case. And we'll see how long it's going to take for my hand sanding and versus the machine tool. So that's going to be a good experiment. And we'll see how much time saving there is and maybe do some math, maybe not as to how much time I'm going to save by just having the machine. So let me get to it uh, and let me do a little bit of a setup on my workbench and we'll be back in a second. So, here we are, ready to run the experiment. Now, there's a few things to note beforehand. Number one is, for a scientific experiment, we need to have some sort of similar variables or similar conditions. So, I know the kit came with sandpaper and I actually experimented with this sandpaper earlier on. 
uh, but I don't know if it's the exact same grit as the one that I'm going to use for the hand sanding. I know for hand sanding that's 80, but I don't see anywhere written in here what grit this sandpaper is. Uh, so I'm going to set it aside and I have attached uh, a piece of sandpaper that's the, the same as this onto the tool head. And that's kind of very easy and very convenient because all you have to do is pop this, uh, get your sandpaper, and pop it back in. There, that easy. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is put on my safety gear, like hearing protection, eye protection, and hand protection. And I'm going to turn on the dust collector that will suck all the dust from the sanding of these two pieces so that they don't breathe them. <laughs> Looking at the final outcome, both the hand sanding and the machine performed quite well. As it turns out, the machine was a little slower. And for now, I'm happy with how the tool performs and I will use it to sand the inside channels of the pen cases. The other flat surfaces around the channels will continue to be sanded by hand onto my router table, just like I showed a few months back in one of my previous videos. I may also 3D print a much bigger tool head with a much larger radius, that's what I mean. Uh, and that way I can sand the uh, bigger channels much quicker. Anyways, that's a future project. But for now, if you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also, follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.